I set up an experiment in my living room. This light here <clears throat> is further away. This light here is a lot closer. So what I did was, is I mimicked a star trail. Thanks to Good Times For All, that was genius showing me how to use the star trail settings on the P900 to come up with this experiment, thought experiment. As you can see, this light that's further away is a much shorter trail than this one that's closer. And I've done this with uh, two or three other experiments doing the same thing. Now here's another experiment that I set up in my living room that's pretty much the same as the first one I showed. This top light is further away. This one's a little closer and this one's the closest. This is just refraction off the lens here. So this is our furthest light away so I drew a line on it now we'll come down and we'll measure this light and as you can see it's a little bit longer than the top one move it down here to this light and as you can see the bottom or the closest light here is a longer trail I decided to take it outside and do a little bit larger experiment with distances further away and I found these three street lights also there's three stars now this is the closest light and I've measured it take it over here to these ones further away you can see they're much shorter and then if we look at the stars that are way out there you can't see any kind of trail that's because the lights further away so when you have a light that's closer the trail should be longer the further away they get from you the shorter they should be and again the stars no streak in the star whatsoever because it's so far away. Now here's uh, star trails that I did a while back. And as uh, you can see, I got the moon in with the star trails. Now this is the star trail that got me to thinking about the lights and the star trails being different lengths at different distances. So I brought in a measuring device here and measured the trail of the moon. Now if we look around here, this trail is shorter, which would tell us that it's further away than the moon is. Now if we go up here to this next star trail, this one here, it's longer than our moon trail. Which tells me that it's closer than the moon. This one's a little further away. If we go over here to this star trail, it's shorter. Go up to this star trail and it's a little bit longer. Now to this star trail it's a little bit shorter. This one here is slightly shorter. This trail right here. This star trail's 
a lot longer than our moon trail down here. That one's a lot longer. So, how far are the stars? They tell us they're light years away. And the moon is only supposed to be 250,000 miles away. Or 230,000 miles away. So, the question begs to be asked, if that's true and the moon is much, much closer than these stars that are supposedly light years away, one would have to ask, how come the trails are almost the same length? Some are a little shorter, some are a little longer. So how truly far away are the stars? 